Meghan Markle's Megabucks, first product from Duchess's new brand won't be jam or dog biscuits. Meghan Markle is purportedly planning to launch a bottle of rosé under her lifestyle label American Riviera Orchard and it could make her millions. The Duchess teased two other products from the forthcoming brand earlier this year, but the pink wine will purportedly be the first item available to the public. According to the Daily Mail, it makes infinite commercial sense for Meghan's first product to be a wine, saying it'll net her far more money than other, cheaper items. As a product, wines are far more aspirationally marketable, not to mention financially lucrative than humble jam, the publication states. Markle has previously hinted she'll be selling jars of jam from her American Riviera Orchard collection. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The former actress sent samples of the jelly to a slew of celebrity pals, including Mindy Kaling and Kris Jenner. The Daily Mail reports that Markle is known to enjoy a good glass of rosé, saying it was her drink of choice on her first date with Prince Harry back in 2016. Like a good Carly influencer, she loves a glass of the pink stuff, and is also a fan of every Instagrammer's favorite drink, a frosé, which is made by freezing rosé wine and blending it into a slushy with strawberries and some icing sugar, for extra sweetness, the publication claims. Markle won't be the first celebrity to launch a wine, with other stars making fortunes producing bottles of the alcohol. Cameron Diaz, Kylie Minogue, Brad Pitt and Francis Ford Coppola have all launched their own wines, adding to their already impressive net worths. According to the Daily Mail, Markle could complement her rosé launch by launching some drinkware. It's expected that other products in the initial tranche of releases will be drinking and serving ware, bar essentials and other products, related to hosting and entertaining, they write, quoting inside sources. We can expect items in classic, but expensive, style. Markle has not confirmed the rosé report. Meanwhile, it's believed the Duchess will also include dog biscuits as a part of the American Riviera brand. Last week, her close pal unveiled a jar of the canine treats that came from the former actress. The timing of the dog biscuit debut raised eyebrows as it came just hours before Markle's estranged sister-in-law, Princess Kate, appeared in public for the first time since her cancer diagnosis in March. Meghan Markle's close friend unveiled a new flavor of the Royals' jam just hours before cancer-stricken sister-in-law Kate Middleton made a triumphant return to the spotlight. On Friday night, Nacho Figueras posted a picture of a pot of raspberry jam from the Duchess of Sussex's new lifestyle label American Riviera Orchard to his Instagram stories. The professional polo player also indicated that Markle will be releasing dog biscuits when her high-end brand finally goes to market. He shared a second snap showing his pup, Nina Iggy, sitting next to a glass jar of the doggy treats. The jar featured the same ribbon that adorns Markle's jam, as well as a similar style of cursive writing on the packaging. It's unclear whether the timing of the photographs was simply coincidental. Markle and her husband, Prince Harry, have been friends with Figueras for years. Meanwhile, Middleton announced earlier on Friday that she would be attending Trooping the Color, her first public appearance since she announced back in March that she was battling an undisclosed form of cancer. On Saturday, the Princess of Wales appeared alongside her husband, Prince William, and their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, at the event that featured thousands of marching soldiers and horses along with a Royal Air Force flyover and music. Crowds cheered as Middleton took to the Buckingham Palace balcony next to King Charles and Queen Camilla. Royal supporters equipped with cardboard cutouts of Middleton camped overnight to secure their prized spot to see the family appear on the balcony. In an emotional health update on Friday, Middleton admitted she has good days and bad days and is not out of the woods with her illness. On those bad days you feel weak, tired and you have to give in to your body resting, the princess wrote. But on the good days, when you feel stronger, you want to make the most of feeling well.